What's going on guys? Today we are going to be working on Wago. Um, but before we get into that, um, the last couple days we were working on the Honduru over at Emilio's and I'm not going to say too much, but we did end up getting the Honduru all the way back together uh, after he broke fourth gear. We got the motor put back in, all that, but turns out um, we might have hurt the clutch on that one as well when Emilio drove it back in fourth gear. He rode the hell out of the clutch and like I said, we'll get into more of that probably tomorrow because I'm going to be going back over to his shop and we're going to be showing some more of the Honduru um, tomorrow. But we were doing that a couple days ago and we were going to make a full video on that but because of the issues we had we ended up holding off on that. So we will come back to the Honduru and uh, also before we get started we also have a special guest. As some of you may know, this is Aaron from 802 Garage. What's going on guys? <laughs> you guys might recognize him from the comments. He uh, actually came down. He's on this like road trip across the country and he came through Colorado to go to a wedding, hit me up, asked if he could stay at my place and I had no problem with that at all. He's been hanging out with us the last couple days. Yeah, Kyle's a very gracious, gracious host. It's been fun working on the Honda. He's been crash. crashing on the couch. <laughs> yeah, man, just living the it's life. It's a pretty comfy no. couch, huh? It's not bad, honestly. It's a lot better. <laughs> Listen, I stayed on one couch in Ohio that was about this wide, so it was... So it's an upgrade from that one? It's an one. upgrade. The boosted couch is all right. <laughs> it's all right. So yeah, he's been hanging around, helping us out a little bit. But uh, yeah, like I said, today we're going to be focusing on the Wago. I uh, didn't show every little step of what I've done in the last couple days and today. Um, so real quick, I'll go over it. So as you guys know, last time I showed Wago, it was just about to be running. It kind of ran, but it ran like crap. All it was was I didn't plug in the uh, four bar onto the Honda for the map sensor. I still had a stock map sensor on the tune and that did not let it run right. All I did was plug in a four bar on there and she fired right up. I got the fuel lines kind of reconfigured, got them tucked out of the way. They were really close to the exhaust. So now they're not as close. And I also put the little up pipe off the MR2 on there. I still need a block off the wastegate dump right here. It's blowing a little bit of exhaust out of that. But uh, I think she's ready to go either way. We did actually fire it up already. We know it runs. And uh, we're actually going to try to take it around the block. I actually got some axles thrown in there as well. Um, all I have in here are just stock uh, base model, like 05 RSX axles for each side. And then it's just the stock K-Series half shaft. And then I also took the drive shaft off as well, or at least the front half of it because I don't want this dragging on the ground. We don't have that hooked up yet. Um, this side is gonna have to be cut right here. And then we're gonna have to weld on a, re-weld on this flange, but just shorter. And then I need to get an adapter to adapt this flange to the uh, flange on the transmission. That'll be for another video. I have the adapter on the way. Still have some other K-Tune parts that need to go on, like this valve cover. I still need to clean up all the wiring, uh, get the alternator mounted up as well, because right now it's not charging. But uh, yeah, she is getting there. She runs great. And we also need to hook up a throttle cable. For right now, what we're gonna do is, I just hung the throttle cable on the uh, throttle body right here, and I'm going to pull on it from the window. Doesn't get all of the throw from the throttle body, but we get enough to at least rev it. And I also don't have any sort of shifter cables hooked up. So what we have to do is manually click it into gear, uh, back it out, do whatever. Then we have to turn it off, get out, and then click it into whatever gear we want. So she is obviously, not ready for a first test drive, but I want to see it go down the road anyways. It also doesn't have a radiator, no coolant, so we can't drive it for too long or else it'll get too hot. I do have a new track bar on the way so I can mount all that stuff up, but we really have nothing else to do except yeah. driving around. I mean, this is as far as we can get with the parts we have, so. It's cold enough out, it's just air cooled right now, dude. It's yeah, it's, it's actually really cold out, it's starting to cool down. I really want to get Wago ready for winter, so when it snows, we can go drift her around, but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to try to fire her up, put her in reverse, and back it out, take it down the road, and hopefully it doesn't get too hot. There you go. So we just got her backed out real quick and since it doesn't have the traction bars on it or the factory like torsion bars that go to the front control arm i can't go too fast because these wheels will move like crazy because without those that's pretty much what holds the control arm in place and if i try to gas it too hard if you guys remember my front wheels on wago with the ebay traction bar since it didn't hold them good enough 
my whole wheel would pull forward because it would just move the whole bar. But now that it's completely gone, they are gonna move a lot. So I just have to drive it really slow. But as you guys saw, she just backed out under her own power. I think we're just gonna try to make a quick lap around the block and uh, drive it back in just cause we can. And uh, yeah, I guess, let's go. Quick question. Huh? Is this gonna be an issue if this is open? What? Oh no, that's good. Return? Yeah, that's the oil return for the turret. We should put a plug on it, but the yeah. oil sits sits below lower it, than obviously. that. Obviously, otherwise it'd be. It yeah, I'll put some. I'll put some it. tape on it real quick. Oh yeah, it has plenty of oil. All Waggo's first drive, moving under her own power. I shut that door, make it quick. Okay, good, it's on you. Did you see that flame though? Dude. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's see this video. I want to see this flame. Don't tempt me with a good time. Hayden right. wants no part of it. Do it again. Stand on limiter far too. Hell minutes. no. You're scared? I, I did it once. That's all that's all you need. Alright. That was cool. Here we go. <laughs> Well guys, Wago is officially moving under its own power. Obviously, there is a lot that needs to be done before I can actually drive it. So like I said, it still needs the alternator, really needs the track bars. That's probably one of the main things because when we took it around the block, the wheels were shaking like crazy because there's nothing holding the control arms in place really. But it still drove. And we also need to get the throttle cable hooked up and a whole bunch of little things, but she is definitely coming along for sure. And I uh, just want to make a video, keep you guys updated where I'm at on Wago. We also have a clutch on the way for the Routacy as well, and a couple other things for that. I still need to track down a first gear set for that transmission that broke. And we actually recently picked up another stock Prelude tranny, and I might be throwing this back into the hatch to uh, try to make it to some of the last races of the season since the transmission that we took out of the hatch and put in the van, broke first gear. We might just send it on a stock tranny, see how long that holds up, and try to get some races out of the hatch before the season is over. But uh, yeah, I was also over at the new shop earlier today with Brent, 
getting some things figured out with that. So been pretty busy lately, definitely some more things to come. But yeah, like I said, wanted to throw a quick video together for you guys, keep you updated on Wago, and it's really about it. Big thanks to Aaron for coming to hang out. He helped with the Honduru as well. He's been here for the last few days now, like three or four days. Yeah, hopefully I can help some more before I head out, but it's yeah. fun either way. As long as you have enjoyed your stay so yeah, far. I mean, all the guys have been awesome, man. Everybody's super, super chill. It's just a great time. Yeah, and Wyatt and Hayden were just over here. We were just romping on Wago. She was shooting some flames, so that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. Like I said, big things coming, so be sure to stay tuned, and thanks for watching.